Having good product mockups can make or break your Etsy print on demand business. And for some people, finding the right mockups, getting them all set up, and then uploading them to Etsy can take way too long and actually hurt their business. Because you know, time is money. And that's one thing that I literally respect above all else when it comes to my business. So I wanna show you what I've been doing for my Etsy mockups recently. I've been using dynamic mockups. Let me show you. In their public library, they have a massive selection of t-shirts, hoodies, wall art, mugs, sweatshirts, pillows, tote bags, phone cases, and blankets, and they're always adding new ones. They also allow you to create your own custom mockups in Photoshop and use those. Now, what I did is I created a mockup template that I intend to use on some Etsy products to show you just how easy it is to use dynamic mockups to bulk publish multiple mockups for multiple products in a single batch. It might sound too good to be true, but I'm about to show you how easy it is. Now, just for an example of how I did this, first I went to the public library and I found some mockups for pillows. I found some mockups for mug and I found some mockups for a t-shirt. Now, this is how easy it is to add it to your collection. First, I made a collection called Etsy listings and I'm gonna add this uh, lady holding a digital camera to my Etsy listings collection. Just like that, it's now in my Etsy listings collection so when I click it, you can see all the mockups that I handpicked for Etsy. And like I said, I'm gonna be doing three different Etsy listings in just minutes. So next what I'm gonna do is click batch create. And what I'm going to do is instead of selecting the mockups as I go, I'm gonna go down here to my, under my templates, I'm gonna to go to Etsy listings since I already have them selected. And then I'm just going to select all six of them. I went ahead and I uploaded the designs and now I get to configure each mockup before uploading it to Etsy in seconds. Now, the first thing you'll see is it's a pugs, not drugs design that I uploaded. This is actually supposed to be a uh, cat lady shirt and I uploaded multiple designs. So I can simply click the correct design and it's gonna switch it for me. Now you may notice this design is optimized for uh, dark colored t-shirts and the mock-up is currently a light colored t-shirt. I can also click over here on the sidebar and you can see I can resize the design and reposition. I think it looks good there. Then I'm gonna click color on the sidebar and hit add color. Now I have this other tab open where I have all of the colors of Bella Canvas 3001 shirts. I'm gonna copy the Heather Peach and just paste the hex code. Now it's gonna generate the mock-up in real time for the color I selected. Perfect. Now I call this mock-up complete. All I need to do now is click where it says Etsy store integration. You'll see that it brings up the Pug Dog Lover mug first. That's not the product that I wanna upload to. So I click the, dro the drop down. If you have more products, you can simply search for the product by title here, but I'm gonna click right here, Cat Lady T-shirt for Mother's Day. Then I take this mock-up that we just created, drag it into one of the image slots, and hit Save and Add to Etsy. It's that simple to add our new mock-up, or mock-ups plural, to Etsy in just seconds. Now, the next mock-up I'm gonna work on is the coffee mug. Now, this is how I intended it to be used. Uh, the Pugs Not Drugs coffee mug. So. Over here on the sidebar, I'm just gonna rearrange how big the design is and where it's placed. Okay, so I'm just gonna play with that for a bit, make sure it is centered kind of how I want it, make this mock-up look as good as possible. I think that actually looks perfect. Not much more tweaks are gonna be required, so I'm gonna go up again to the Etsy store integration, switch back to the Pug mug, take this mock-up that I just created, drag, drop, and then hit save and add to Etsy. Boom, another mock-up done just that easily. And again, guys, these mock-ups were from the public library. Now they do support uploading custom Photoshop mock-ups, but this is how easy it is just using the mock-ups that are already made available to us. Uh, here's another coffee mug mock-up. I'm just gonna go ahead and make the design bigger and then reposition it. Okay, maybe a little bit off-center there. Boom, perfect. And same thing, Etsy store integration. Got to hit the carousel here, find the mock-up that we just created, drag, drop, and upload. And that's it. In seconds, it's sent to Etsy. I can go over to Etsy, hit refresh on my product listing, and I'll see it there. The next mock-up is another t-shirt mock-up. Now, it grabbed the uh, pug, but I actually want it to be the cat lady, so again, I'm going to switch the design. I'm going to uh, 
make it a little bit bigger and reposition it higher on the shirt. Just like that, perfect. Then I'm gonna go over to color. And how about we do um, Heather Pink this time? So we'll change up the color of this shirt. And just like that, we have created another mock-up. Now, if you offer multiple colors, guys, all you have to do is grab the hex code for the other colors, maybe this uh, prism ice blue. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click the plus sign and add another color. And then boom, it's generating multiple color mock-ups for us all at once, although it did switch back to the pug. I'm gonna switch it over here to the cat design, boom. So now if we go to color, we've got the pink and we've got the uh, green. Just make sure that you can actually fulfill <laughs> the orders in this color if and when you get orders, okay? So make sure of that. And then also I would just suggest to make sure that you have the right hex codes that correspond to the colors that you're offering of the actual physical product that you're getting it uh, printed onto. Okay, so when we're good here, again, go to Etsy store integration, find the uh, cat lady t-shirt, find these designs that we just created here in the carousel, boom. So we've got the pink one, drag and drop that. And then we should be able to also find the prism blue, boom, drag and drop, hit save and add to Etsy. And it's that simple guys. I mean, what's not to love about this? I, don't, I can't imagine it being any easier. Uh, all that's left now is the pillow. So this was gonna be a um, cat lady pillow, I believe. So let's go ahead and switch the design to the cat lady design. Then we just need to switch the color. Uh, we can just go back here. They have some good colors on the Bella canvas. Ooh, this would be sea green. This could be a bright colored pillow. Let's see what it looks like. I love how fast this works, by the way, too. I think that pillow looks really good. That sea green color from Bella canvas 3001. Okay, and what we can do now is just do the last mock-up as well. Again, we're gonna switch the design to the cat lady design. We're gonna do the color again. Let's do the sea green. Make them sync up. Okay, and now that both these mock-ups are complete in the right color with the right design, we can go switch to our Cat Lady Pillow Gift, find the mock-ups here in the carousel, you guessed it, drag and drop, drag and drop, save and add to Etsy, and just like that, as promised, let me know if this was not as advertised. This was probably easier than you expected, right? We created new mock-ups on demand custom colors, as many color variations as we needed, drag, drop, one button click, and they're synced to Etsy. Guys, that's the power of dynamic mockups, and they're constantly expanding their library. You can add your own custom mockups if you can't find one that you like. What's not to love? So if you wanna check out dynamic mockups, linked below in the description, that's what I've been using lately for my Etsy shop, and it saved me a ton of time and headache. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next one.